Hey everybody, it's Kevin from JJ Hat Center, New York's oldest hat shop on Fifth Avenue. Um, the other day they blocked my video because we had some something playing, the Eagles were playing. So instead of being able to upload my YouTube, it said your YouTube has been blocked because of so and so entertainment. And uh, you know, I, can't, I couldn't even give them credit and use the, you know, so instead of getting blocked, I'm going to use my own music. So my garage band stuff. Today I'm going to, um, I'm going to answer a request, a uh, viewer request for a show about caps. Uh, we don't do too many caps, we usually do hats here, but um, yeah, a really cool cat asked me to do something about newsboy caps and stuff. So let's talk about that, newsboy caps. You guys see me back here? Okay, good. All right. The thing with caps are there are two basic shapes. Uh, the newsboy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go behind the counter and pretend you guys are like one of my customers. Okay, this side, flat caps. The flat cap is, it's narrow, okay? It's, it looks like, looks like this here. Flat cap is also known as an ivy cap. In the hat business, it's known as the ivy, and then, the wider style is known as the newsboy cap. So, yeah, Ivy's and newsboys. It's like, I don't know, Coke and Pepsi or Gibson and Fender. It's the two basics. Um, okay, the newsboy cap has a button on the top. Generally, eight sections like a pie or like a pizza. Um, it's a little bit baggier. They flop over the sides. This is like what Babe Ruth used to wear, Bill Cosby, John Lennon, floppy style. Button. Generally, a lot of them are Irish. It's an old New York kind of look, you know, gangs in New York. The other style is like the Peaky Blinder style. It's also known as the Kangol shape. This is called the Ivy. The Ivy is the flat cap, the cheese cutter. You like that one? Cheese cutter. Uh, Ivy flat cap, driver's cap, driving cap, which is very common. Uh, or Kangol style cap. I've heard like 10 other names for it. Uh, just like the newsboy is the newsboy, the applejack, the eight piece cap, uh, we call it the eight quarter cap. In the business you say got an eight quarter, eight quarter, eight slash four, which makes more sense. It's like two caps, eight quarter. Um, applejack, big apple, Gatsby's. There's a lot of words for them. I mean, people even call them towns. So which one is for you? Okay, ivy caps are skinny. They're also more basic, they're more conservative, they're, they're plainer, they're more basic. If you have a narrow face, you're looking for a cap, you're just not fat-faced, um, you probably want an ivy. Most people wear ivy caps, black caps, driving caps. That's the most basic, it's basic. It's more modern, it's a wedge shape. It is an ivy cap, I don't wear ivies. Now, okay, Ivy's are skinnier, newsboys are wider, but, okay, get this, you have fat newsboys and skinny newsboys, and you got fat Ivy's and skinny Ivy's. So, okay, let's show you an example. All right, hold on a second. This is something called the Big Apple. The Big Apple is the most extreme example, I guess. Um, okay. Big, big apple is like what Donny Hathaway used to wear. Or, um, anybody who knows this group X Japan, there's a guy named Hide, a kind of legendary Japanese musician. He wore caps like this, just huge, huge, huge caps. Now this is, you can get away with it because I'm like the musician type or whatever, but a lot of people try this newsboy and say it looks like a clown. It's ridiculous. Um, now, if you have big dreadlocks, look at the size of this crown. I mean, it's huge. It's really, really, really big. You could use this for like a Rasta crown, it would work, you know? The Big Apple is like the biggest, widest example there is, okay? Most people don't want that. Um, a newsboy today is more modern, looks like this. So this is Stetson Newsboy. This is like equal to something really nice, like uh, let's say you go over to Banana Republic, you spend $200 on a sweater for your dad. Um, it's 
expensive, right? That's like this. Um, uh, it's not that expensive. These are like about 100 or something like that in that range, but it's, it's at the top end. The top end for like, if you're gonna go shopping in a good city, this is the best you'll find. Now, the Stetsons are skinnier. It's more modern. It's probably gonna work for most of you guys out there who want a newsboy. Somebody who wants something more authentic with a little more flop. You got a big enough face for it. Try the Irish stuff. The Irish is great. Um, these are the guys who are kind of inventing this stuff. It's just like the best. The Irish ones are very, very authentic. They're slightly wider. So here's an example of the Irish. You know. It's like really, really thick. Kind of like a sweater or something. So not as big as the Big Apple, but you're getting that real authentic. You know, John Lennon, or the snap is in, you don't do much with that, though. You know, John Lennon, kind of Babe Ruth thing. This is authentic. Big Apple's not for everybody. This is it's as big as most people go. Now, if you don't want that $100 quality, or you don't want that super thick um, sweater thickness, you could get something a little thinner, like the Big Apple in a normal kind of quality. I'm going to call that a newsboy. What is known as a JJ newsboy. Okay, here's a JJ newsboy. It's bigger than the Stetson. So the Stetson is the modern one, okay? Going up a little bigger is a newsboy. So let's, let's try it. Ivy cap. Too skinny for me. Stetson newsboy, it's a modern one. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. Regular Newsboy, the JJ Newsboy, even more. It's bigger. I like that. I like that more. Then the Big Apple, on the next Irish, maybe a little bigger. Bigger, right? And then the Big Apple, the Extreme. It's just like, it's too much for my friend, you know? Come on, look at this. Eh, maybe it's okay. Funky dude like me, mainly. But if I had short hair, no. It's just like way too much hat. Okay, so not all newsboys are created equal. You got big ones, medium, small ones. I'm gonna say most people want a compact newsboy, unless you're a real purist or, let's put it this way. Um, if you're ready to embrace the bagginess, Accept it and love the bagginess. Get the Irish, get the newsboy, maybe the big guy, maybe not. But if you're scared of the bagginess and you don't you want a newsboy but nothing too baggy, you get something more modern like a Stetson or, you know, we have 300 other versions of hats with this cup. Um, I can show you something with silk and cashmere. If you want something very light but luxurious, it's, it's just lightweight, you know. I've got them in linen, I've got them in whatever you want, from Italy, Ireland, every country. They go narrower yet. Next, ivy caps, the same thing. With an ivy, I'm going to say a lot of the ivy is more traditional. Up until the last five years or so, all ivy caps look exactly the same. Every company gave you the same way. Now, uh, five, ten years ago, maybe five to seven years ago, people started getting hip and saying, you know what, I want something skinnier on the side. We made a couple of custom-made ones. They sold really well. Eventually what we did is we came up with a whole line of skinny caps and then a couple of, um, okay, let me show you the skinny cap looks like. This is the classic ivy cap here. This is basically what all ivy caps have looked like flat cast for the last like whatever years 20 30 40 okay recently people have been asking for skinnier caps they don't want all that stuff hanging off the sides so now we came out with these slim caps a couple of guys from the industry might come into the store and say hey cap that's all uh, what's selling what's been hot you know they do that they try to be slick like you know hey cap but uh, the truth is that the older fellows who own hat companies, you know, full-timers, 
They don't know what the kids are learning today. Uh, we do, because we're here, you know? So they depend on us. They like, like walk in and say, what's selling, Kev? And I'll tell them, skinny caps. They're all asking for skinny ivy caps. And then next week, this will show up in that guy's catalog or another guy's catalog. The year after that, four companies had a skinny cap um, because one guy bought a cap at JJ's and copied it. This is just the way the hat business works. One guy comes up with a good idea, everybody copies it. Um, like the crushable hat. Somebody came up with that idea at some point, everybody copied it. It was a good idea. Um, Not everybody can wear a big wide ivy cap like this. It's just, it has to balance with the width of your face. And so if you're trying caps, you've decided ivy needs work. At that point, look at the width. How much fabric's on the side? You gotta get a little something. There's no way it's gonna be skin tight. But if you wanna go skinnier, ask the, the salesman, you got something skinnier. You know, maybe he doesn't. Um, obviously, you can see how many we have. This is just one one case a month, just tons of cases here. Um, not every place is going to have, you know, cap selections like that. And you can see we've just got cases and cases and cases. Um, the point is, not everybody can wear the same ivy cap or the same newsboy cap. So, um, check the width. That's the item of length can be important too. For a short person, if you wear a cap that's too long, it can make you look short. So, certain ivy caps are a little bit shorter in the length. Like if you look at this slim one, it's not only slimmer on the side, it's slimmer in the, it's shorter in the front, less length. So that's a good, a good cap for a shorter guy. So something skinny and something not too long. I guess that's about it. It's almost time to start opening the shop. So, um, Kevin from JJ Hat Center. Take care, guys.